President's Day was originally celebrated, was created to celebrate the birthday of our first president, George Washington. So it's only fitting to have George Washington expert on the show uh, on this President's Day. That's right. John Koopman III is a professional Washington reenactor and is also the author of the book, George Washington at War, 1776. He joins us now live. Good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, you, we're looking right here at perhaps the most authentic recreation of George Washington's uniform, right? Yes, it was uh, put together by uh, Mount Vernon. They did an extensive study. Uh, they went through all the measurements and so forth. And in their museum, they have a life-size figure with the identical well, uniform. And so how does it feel? Accurate. Very much like wearing a, a, a fine wool suit. It's, it's very, not very itchy. Can you, can you describe no? a little bit of what we're looking at? All right, so what you see here, there are the, uh, the three stars. Yeah. The commander in chief, he's the three star general. So the epaulets, uh, these are gold plated uh, buttons, just exactly as he would, as he would have had. Mm -hmm. And uh, the boots and so forth. It's pretty amazing. If you, if you recognize John, it's because if you've seen uh, Dinesh D'Souza's movie, you were playing George Washington then. You're basically the same dimensions as he. You look a lot like the way they say that he used to look. But you wrote this book and focused on Washington at war. Tell me about Washington the general. Well, first, he was a very, uh, very determined uh, person. He would not give up. He would just uh, surrender was not an option for him. So that was the key to his leadership, his determination. How did the, how did the uh, fellow soldiers uh, view him? Well, early in the war, they were stuck. When I write the book, 1776, uh, they were just learning about him, and they didn't know about him. But by the end of the war, uh, there were people that said that the soldiers, they adored him. Mm -hmm. Up next in the, in the primaries, we have South Carolina. What can the GOP candidates in particular learn about George Washington as a general and, and some takeaway points? They wouldn't like it. He, uh, <laughs> he, he didn't like political parties. He felt that if we had political parties, that they would be divisive, working against each other rather than for the American people. Right. He did he not so, want, yeah. He, he was so, go ahead, Steve. He was so popular across the United States. At that point, before we had a president, it was kind of a no-brainer. Yeah, if we're going to have a first one, that guy should be it, right? That's exactly what happened. Plus, he he gave up the power. He was so respected. He was one of the only revolutionaries to hand over the sword and give up the power. And he didn't want to be president. He sat there, watched uh, after the revolution, everything falling apart, and he was probably the only person to come back to be able to lace everybody together. Can you imagine the Constitutional Convention? They're going to come up with a whole new uh, type of government. And people were troubled by it. But then when they found out that George Washington was going to be president of the convention, they said, oh, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. hey, He's okay with it. He's got our vote. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us on this President's Day. John Koopman III, and the book is George Washington at War, 1776. Thank you Great. so much. Thank you.